Hi folks, today I'm going to be using the 8x10 gel press plate and something I have tons of. I have these stamping up reinkers. I have one for every single stamp pad that I have. I was a demonstrator for a number of years and I haven't used these. So I thought this is a great idea to use for my gel press video. Uh, I encourage you to do the same thing. Figure out something that you have a lot of. Get it out and use it. So, in preparing for this video, uh, I like to play a little bit and see, you know, how, how they actually work on the gel press plate so I can share it with you. And in doing so, I get lots of things out that I sometimes don't use all of uh, in my final project. And um, you'll see some of those things uh, as I go through this video. One of those things is the gel press petite set. They're the shapes that I have there um, mounted on the, the um, acrylic blocks. I did the, a couple of different things with the reinkers and those and I just didn't, I didn't like what I made with them. So I just decided not to do, not to use them. During this video, I'm going to be using the gel press plate quite a bit as a stamp pad. So you can see it right here where I'm using acrylic paints to ink up my stamp and there's lots of benefits to that, but I'll explain that later. So here I'm adding two or three different shades of red to the plate and then some water. And I'm just gonna swipe a tag through there just for a real watercolor effect. And then I'm gonna take a stamp and I'm adding the reinker to the back of the stamp and using my gel press plate as a stamp pad to get a watercolory background. And then I add my elements, a little bit of marker and a die cut and my card is done. The next part and the next technique is where I added a little bit of hand sanitizer and some light colors of um, reinker just to make kind of a sky and the the hand sanitizer I used in hopes that I would get a little bit better of an impression of the stamped image onto the um, onto the plate and then ultimately onto my print. And it worked pretty well. I'm going to be using, again, I'm going to be using the hand sanitizer and a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to use the gel press as a stamp pad, which I love to do and adding some yellow stars to this background that I've created. The really unique thing about using the gel press as a stamp pad is that you can mix different colors together. And as you've seen before, I was using reinker. Here I'm using a heavy body acrylic paints and it just makes a great surface for stamping. I even printed the little stars that you'll see on a couple of the cards. They're just chipboard stars and I just printed them with the yellow. I'm just finishing up the other background, stamping with an image using archival ink and adding one of my stars and I'm done. So for the next background, I'm going to be using a couple of different shades of blue on the plate and adding some water. Again, I'm gonna be making a watercolor background and I'm pressing my mixed media paper in a couple of times until I get the look that I want. And then I'm gonna take my snowflake stamp and I'm gonna use that same reinker and I'm gonna just put a very kind of a blurry uh, image on the background. It's not gonna really show up as a snowflake on the card but it's going to give a really neat effect. So I've added some pearl fluid acrylic paint to the plate after I cleaned it and I'm stamping my snowflake onto the backgrounds that I just created. 
And once that paint dries, it will resist the reinker. So I'm making the background a little more rich, uh, using an applicator to apply some more reinker, and then wiping the excess off with a baby wipe. So the fluid acrylic resists the ink. And I've added a die cut here to finish off my background. And I'm stamping some to from on the back of my tags and I'm ready for Christmas. So I'm just finishing up a couple of tags here with some stamped images using an archival pad. And I just want to challenge you to get out some of those supplies that you haven't used in a while. Maybe they're reinkers, maybe they're distress inks, maybe they're distress reinkers. Get them out, try them on your gel press plate. The general rule is that if you can clean a medium, like an acrylic paint or a reinker off of your gel press plate with a baby wipe, then you can use it on your gel press plate. You can share your creations using your gel press plate on our Facebook page, Gel Press Junkies. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thanks for watching.